What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video I'm going to show you what I feel are the top 5 new features that were added in Studio One 6.1. Uh, this is of course a free update, so go ahead and download it at your convenience. Uh, we'll get right into this. The first one is Custom Colors. So if you select the color of your track, we now have a drop down where we can select between HSL or RGB, and we can completely customize each one of these color cells. And we can even add or delete color cells as well. And if you feel like you've screwed this up, you can just hit reset to get back to those default settings. Next new feature is the Pro EQ, which now for the shelving for the low and high pass or the low and high shelving, uh, you can now solo. And what this is going to do is it's going to invert the shelf and this is great for allowing you to hear what you would be removing if you were using a high pass filter on the low or high frequencies. Uh, let's quickly demonstrate that. So on this uh, track, I'm going to start with the low, solo that. So this is essentially just allowing me to hear just the low frequencies. Let's take a look at the high. So now if I wanted to high pass or low pass, I can hear exactly what would be removed from the signal. Next new feature is a uh, loop length. So or loop length display. And this is something I've been wanting. I've definitely went looking for this feature in Studio One a couple times and realized that it didn't have it. It's one of those things that you realize like, oh, Studio One doesn't have this? Well, it has it now. I've got a loop selected, and we've always been able to see the loop length here at the bottom. We can see it's from uh, bar 17 to 25. But now if we right click this, we have the option to show the length and we can select that from seconds, samples, bars, or frames. I'm going to select bars, and now we can see that that is a eight bar loop. Pretty handy feature that I've definitely looked for before in Studio One. For the other two features, we're going to jump over to the project page. All right, so we're in the project page, and I've got a, there's a quick mastering setup I put together here uh, the Chandler Curve Bender. Shadow Hills Master and Compressor and Sonable Smart Limit. In 6.1, we now have the ability to save this as a template. Uh, this is definitely a welcome feature and another one of those that I feel is just overdue. Uh, but saving this as a template not only adds this chain, it's also going to save any metadata that you've entered. And you can also use pipeline in here as well. When I master, I use hardware and I can now set up templates with my hardware chain as well in 6.1, which is really nice. The last feature here, if we go to digital release, uh, then we got to add a track. So let's do that. All right, so if we go under digital release now, under loudness, we now have album mode. So what album mode is going to do, it's going to take that loudness optimization that adjusts loudness applies to the tracks, but in album mode, it's going to apply it across all of the tracks. So if you're doing an EP, an LP, a whole album, now with album mode, you can apply that same loudness adjustment equally across all of the tracks. So there are my favorite, or in my opinion, uh, the top five new features that were added in Studio One 6.1. Uh, a little a bonus one is one that I, I don't use because I don't really collaborate uh, in Studio One with people. But if you do, uh, there is a new feature that is added that allows you to be notified when something has been changed. You no longer have to rely on the email notification. You'll get a notification uh, directly in Studio One, which is really nice as well. All right, but definitely comment and let me know what your favorite new feature is. Is it one of them that I went over or is it one of the other new features that were added? Definitely comment and let me know your opinion. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then y'all know what to do. All right. I'll catch y'all next time.